Hello and welcome to Around Town. Today we'll be taking a look at some simple etiquette tips to help you sail through the season of dancing and parties. Good manners will open doors that the best education cannot. Those are wise words. Every year the students are invited to attend several of the school dances. Some of them are formal and some of them are informal. And today I'd like to offer a few quick tips to help make your evening fun and memorable. There are dances uh, such as cotillion, which are informal. There are junior and senior prom dances. So to help some of the students uh, know what to expect, corsage purchases or wristlet purchases are pretty much mandatory for the prom the final dance of the year. All other times of the year, buying a flower is optional. You need to communicate with the person that you are going to the dance with. Find out what color your partner is wearing. It is customary to try and have the tie match the color of the outfit that the person you are going with is wearing. The person that invites the other person is generally the individual that will pay for the meals and the tickets. If you are going in a large group and it is agreed upon, everyone will pay for their own passageway. When you get to the dinner table, it is very appropriate to pull the chair out. If your date is wearing a long gown, it would make it somewhat simpler for her to get into the area where she's going to sit. Take your table napkin and place it on your lap. Always at least one minute before the dinner is served. When you get up to use the restroom or to leave, it is advised that you never put the, the napkin on the chair. Simply put it on the table next to you. Try not to grab the napkin and do this. It is widely accepted as being inappropriate. The purpose of the napkin being on your lap is so that you can wipe your mouth frequently while having dinner or conversing. When you are eating dinner, try to remember to chew with your mouth closed. People don't want to see your food. Pay attention to your guests. Listen. Be able to converse. Turn off your cell phone. It is best that the guests that you are with know that your time spent with them is more important than an impending phone call. Another appropriate form of etiquette is waiting till all your guests have their food before you begin to eat. There is nothing more rude than to have half your meal off your plate before the rest of the guests have gotten theirs. However, if you're in a large setting and several people are being uh, fed at the same time, if four or more people have gotten their food, it is appropriate to begin dining. Bring your food to your face. Try not to hunch over your food. Now we will look at a basic table setting so that when you get to the table you are comfortable and know what implement to reach for. When you sit at the dinner table, take a look at the setting. It generally goes from outside to in. The outermost fork is the salad fork. It is shorter than the dinner fork. The next fork is taller. That is the dinner fork. That is the fork that you will be using for your main meal. After the meal, if dessert is ordered, there is another fork closest to the plate and it is the same size as the salad fork. That is the one for the dessert. To the right of the plate is your knife. Next to that is a teaspoon, which you can use for stirring coffee, tea, or dessert. To the right of that is the soup spoon. The soup spoon is a tablespoon. It's larger than the teaspoon. Front left is the bread plate. You can choose some bread, put it on this plate, put some butter, and that is the place for your bread. Beverages, when you sit down, you will see several glasses, which can be very confusing. The glass directly in front of you is generally the larger. That will be the water glass. The glass to the right is the red wine glass, and further right is the white wine glass. The American standard 
formal way of dining and the accepted practice. Take the knife when you're cutting your meat. Put the knife down, generally here. Put the fork in the hand that you eat with and eat. However, the accepted European style of eating after you cut your meat, it is widely accepted to be able to not change fork from one hand to the next and just put the food into your mouth. Putting the fork and knife down in the European fashion is like so. The American fashion, put it down like that. Now, when you are done having dinner, how do you signal that? That tells everyone that you are done eating. And always remember to put the napkin back on the table when you are done. Say please and thank you to your guests. Remember to listen, have a good time, and be safe.